In this video, we will discuss that how to design a 8 cross 1 multiplexer using a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. So, uh, to design that, first we will uh, just write the truth table for a 8 cross 1 multiplexer and from there it will be easy for us to uh, design that. So, 8 cross 1 multiplexer we know we have 3 selection lines, so S0, S1 and S12 right and we will have one output that is Y. So, the input combinations will be 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 1. So, first you write all the combinations, then it will be easy to understand. So, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 1. So, these are all possible combinations if there are 3 variables that is 3 selection lines and the outputs will be here I 0, I 1, I 2, I 3, 4, I 5, I 6 and I 7. So, this is according to my 8 cross 1 multiplexer. Now, what is the question is asking? Even we need to use 4 cross 1 multiplexer to design that. So, as I know in the previous video I have discussed if 4 cross 1 multiplexer will be there then how many inputs it can take? It can take only 4 inputs and 1 output and there will be 2 selection lines in this case. right? But here we have 3 selection lines and 8 outputs. So, how to handle that? So, first let us divide this into two parts where we make it 4 by 4. So, what we are making 4 by 4? So, the first part, so this part, this part will be a 4 cross 1 multiplexer and this part will be another 4 cross 1 multiplexer. Let us see how it does. So, as I said 4 cross 1 multiplexer can take 4 inputs. So, this 4 inputs available here I0, I1 and I3, I3. So, I will give that to 1 4 cross 1 multiplexer. Okay, so, this will be my 1 4 cross 1 multiplexer and let us say the output is y 1 fine again. So, I will take this i 4, i 5, i 6 and i 7 to another 4 cross 1 multiplexer. So, I am using a second 4 cross 1 multiplexer. So, let us say the output is y 2. So, now what I need? I need the selection lines right. So, for this, so see the selection lines here. So, if I take this particular set and this particular set. So, what I can see 0 0 then 0 1 then 1 0 then 1 1 this is nothing but it is the uh, selection line for a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. So, here I can write so 2 selection line will be S 0 and S 1 similarly here will be S 0 and S 1. Okay, so, 2 selection lines will be here. Now, what will happen with this? So, this 2 mul 4, mul 4 cross 1 multiplexer are acting individually. So, this multiplexer can give you the output from I 0 to I 3 and the second multiplexer can give you the output from I 4 to I 7. So, I 4 to I 7 we are considering because we are my final output will be 8 cross 1, but if I consider the individual 4 cross 1 multiplexer then this I 4 to I 7 is nothing but I 0 to I 3 for the second one. Okay. Now, you see I need only one output. So, the two output I got. So, if I keep that in one two cross one multiplexer again. So, finally, I can get one output this will be a two cross one multiplexer. Now, what will be the selection line for this? So, see in this part the four cross one multiplexer upper half the value of S 2 is equals to 0. In the second four cross one multiplexer the value of S 2 uh, is equals to 1 here that means whenever S 2 is equals to 0 my upper multiplexer will work when S 2 is equals to 0 then the lower multiplexer will work. So, if you write S 2 okay, so S 0 S 1 is already taken if I write S 2 here then what will happen if S 2 is equals to 0 then what will happen it will take the output y 1 fine. Now, what is the y 1? y 1 is the multiplex output of the 4 cross multi 4 cross 1 multiplexer where i 0 to i 3 is there. Now, how to handle i 0 to i 3 using s 0 and s 1 fine that is easy. Now, if s 2 is equals to 1 in this case what will happen? So, s 2 is equals to 1 means y 2 will be considered in this case. So, y 2 is what? y 2 is nothing but uh, one output from the 4 input that is i 4 to i 7. So, how this can be controlled again s 0 and s, s, s 1 is there. So, basically what we are doing here is we are giving 3 selection lines. So, S 0, S 0, S 1 and S 2, but the final output is according to the 8 cross 1 multiplexer truth table. So, that means we can say that we have designed a 8 cross 1 multiplexer using 4 cross 1 multiplexer and 
along with a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So only 4 cross 1 is not possible to de design here. So if we do a simple figure for this, so this is a 4 cross 1 multiplexer for which there is I0, I1, I2 and I3. So there will be another 4 cross 1 multiplexer. So this is a 4 cross 1, this is also a 4 cross 1 where I will take I4, I5, I6 and I7 will be there. So there will be two selection lines here. So let me do it another color. Uh, so there will be two selection lines here for this one and for this one as well. So I will take that to outside. Okay. So this will be connected here and this will be connected here. So these two lines are nothing but my S0 and S1. Fine. So these two outputs are again it, it will be connected to one more multiplexer which is 2 cross 1 multiplexer here. So this will be a 2 cross 1 multiplexer output will be Y and this will be connected to nothing but your S2. Okay. So now you see here if I put that inside a box, so whole this section if I keep inside a box, so now there are 8 inputs for me, so these are my 8 inputs and these are my 3 selection lines. So finally it is a 8 cross 1 multiplexer we can say. So this is how you can design a 8 cross 1 multiplexer using 2 cross 1, so using 4 cross 1. So, using 2 cross 2 cross 1 also we can do so that I will discuss in the next video.